Good morning. Good morning. St. Anthony of Padua's parish family welcomes all who have gathered for our liturgy. You are kindly requested at this time to turn off all electronic devices, including cell phones. Today we celebrate the birthday of the church, the Feast of Pentecost. We pray that the Holy Spirit will enlighten our minds with the truths of our faith and kindle our hearts with love. This liturgy is being offered for the happy repose of the soul of Michael Rinaldi. We begin our prayer by standing and joining in singing number 552, Send Us Your Spirit, number 552. <clears throat> Send us your spirit, renew 
Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to peace. you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. The readings can be found at number 1084, number 1084. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time came for Pentecost was fulfilled, 
They were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded. In amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus in Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of our Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are great. Indeed, how manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit. When you send forth your spirit of life, they are created in your sight. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit. works. Pleasing to him will be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. 
There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestations of the spirit is given for some benefit as the body is one though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Holy Spirit, Lord divine, come from heights of heaven and shine. Come with blessed radiance bright. Come, O Father of the poor, come whose treasured gifts endure. Come, our hearts unfailing light of consolers, wisest, best, and our soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment, sweet repose in our labor, rest most sweet. Pleasant coolness in the heat, consolation in our woes. Light most blessed shine with grace in our heart's most secret place. Fill your faithful through and through, left without your presence here. Life itself would disappear. Nothing thrives apart from you. Cleanse our soiled hearts of sin. Arid souls refresh within. Wounded lives to health restore. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the wayward home once more. On the faithful who are true and profess their faith in you. In your sevenfold gift descend. Give us virtue's sure reward. Give us your salvation, Lord. Give us joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his, his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you are retained, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we celebrate Pentecost as it was announced. The birthday of our church. The receiving of the promise of Jesus. Jesus has prom had promised to his disciples that he will send them the Holy Spirit. And it is today that we see this being fulfilled. We have been given many gifts by the Lord, by our Creator. But the most important, most of all, rather, is the gift of the Holy Spirit and the gift of the Son. The gift of the Holy Spirit which makes us to fulfill what Jesus taught us. The gift of the Son whom the Father sent to us to reveal his ways, his way of doing things. And of course, there are many other good gifts. All gifts are good, by the way. The gift of our mother Mary, of whom we celebrate or we honor during this month the spouse of the Holy Spirit and the one who gave birth to our Savior who sent us the Holy Spirit. Our Savior sent us the Holy Spirit. And of course, without forgetting, Saint Joseph who speaks and who listens to God even in the dreams, even when he's sleeping. He's always guided by the Spirit. Whatever the Spirit says, he puts it into practice. And of course, all the friends of Jesus, all the friends of God, who are they? The saints. The saints are friends of God. They listened to the Holy Spirit, and they lived their life according to the dictates of the Holy Spirit. Of course, they were humans. They made mistakes. But they knew how to use other gifts in place. The gift of reconciliation 
of penance whom we, which we see today being given to the apostles. First reading, we see how beautiful the Holy Spirit can make or can renew the people and the world. What was a burden or what died during the Tower of Babel when the people were competing with God when they were proud was now healed on Pentecost. It was a custom of the Jews after 50 days, 50 days after Passover, to come all around and celebrate Pentecost. Pentecost is not created. It was there even before. They used it to celebrate two gifts. The gift of the law, of the covenant, of the Ten Commandments, which was given to them by, through Moses, by God through Moses, and the gift of abundant harvest. We take it for granted when we harvest Maybe we don't thank God. Other people before us and other people from today, they bring their gifts to God. And we see them while they were celebrating, the Holy Spirit came on them like a wind. Wind blows where it wills. We feel it, but we cannot touch it. And the tongues of fire, that's why we are putting on white, I mean red. People were asking, why are we putting on red? Or, you know, the church changes, changes. No, it changes according to the meaning of the celebration. And so these tongues of fire dwelt on each, each, each and everyone, you can imagine. Uh, if all of us get, uh, don't be afraid, uh, you won't burn. Uh. The Holy Spirit doesn't burn good things, it burns bad things in us. And they all began to speak and hearing one another, although they were speaking, or although they were from different parts of the world and speaking in different language, they could hear one another, what, one another, what the other is saying. Isn't it beautiful? It is, it is beautiful. That's what love does. That's why children can play with the other children. They don't care where the child comes from. And they don't care whether they speak the same language. They will just only just use the hands. That's what love does. Listening to each other and enjoying the presence of each other. I wish every day would be a Pentecost so that we are all renewed and the whole world renewed and there is peace. In the Gospel we see Jesus coming to the disciples, they were timid. The gospel says, for the fear of the Jews, they were inside. And Jesus told them, peace be with you, twice. Peace be with you. 
and he installed the sacrament of penance, of reconciliation through his apostles. Whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Whose sins you retain, they are retained. The sacrament of reconciliation is biblical. Huh? If anyone asks you, where do you fetch that from? You have to tell him or her. The, you have to quote John chapter 20. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven. And whose sins you retain, they are retained. Yes, the apostles or the disciples, they really needed empowerment. One word that was enough for them is empowerment. To be empowered, to be told, go, don't fear. And that is what Jesus is telling them. What I promised you, I have fulfilled. I have given you the Holy Spirit. Yes, that's when the church was born. They went all around without fear. They lived their life. And they came out of the, where they were hiding. And they preached. Yes, we need the Holy Spirit. The second reading from Corinthians tells us that no one can call God the Father unless he is inspired by the Holy Spirit. That there are different gifts. We are talented differently. Some know how to sing. Some know how to play football. Others know how to conduct. Others, you know, many gifts. If we can all put them together, oh, the church can be beautiful, can benefit a lot. Sometimes we are very stingy with our gifts. But St. Paul tells us that all of these gifts come from the same God. And they are for the church, for the building of the body. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, you see that the Holy Spirit is to the church what the Spirit is to the body. You can imagine a body without the, the, I mean the soul. Without the soul. The Holy Spirit is to the church as the soul is to the body. If the body doesn't have the soul, it dies. Thanks be to God that the Holy Spirit is always with us as Jesus promised. The moment he lives, that's why we should not fight, you should not fight with the church. If you fight with the church, you are fighting the Holy Spirit, and you will end up being the loser. And so, we have to use our gifts knowing that we shall be accountable for them when our time is over. The gifts that we have, the talents that we have, are not to be sat on or to be kept. They are for building the church. So we want servers, more servers. 
We want Eucharistic ministers. We want choir masters. We want choirs. All of the gifts, all of the things that we need are here. We can always have a beautiful liturgy. And we, when we go out, if we are united or if we follow what the Spirit is telling us, we can really make the world beautiful. We pray, therefore, through our Mother Mary, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, and through Saint Joseph, and through all the saints, that we may listen to the Holy Spirit, and we may put into practice what the Spirit tells us to do. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and true God. The God not made, the God is the angel of the Father, who in all things are made. Let us now unite in prayer as the disciples did on the first Pentecost and open ourselves to receive the very same Holy Spirit. That the church in the power of the Spirit may make the gospel understandable to people of every race, language, and culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Holy Spirit of peace may unite and reconcile the peoples and nations of the earth, bringing an end to war, hatred, and discrimination. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, may renew the face of the earth and make it a place where the poor are fed, the strangers are welcomed, and the unborn are brought safely to birth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in that we have been near who have been ordained as deacons, that they be given the gift of fidelity to their sacred duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each baptized Christian may develop more fully his or her response to all the gifts which the Spirit bestows for the service of the body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the service of our nation, that God's glory will shine upon them and may they share in the peace of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our parishes and all families, that our merciful fam fa Father may continue to bless us, keep us, and help us to grow together in love and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may grow in faith and in health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Michael Rinaldi and our recently deceased, Mary Febo, Geneva Azalina, Helen Gonzalez, and Elizabeth Morrow, that they may be welcomed into the fullness of God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold close to our hearts. 
We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, we rejoice in your Holy Spirit. Send him again into our hearts, uh, into our lives, and into our world. Hear our prayers and save us in our, lo- in your, in our love. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. As we offer our gifts to the Father, we join in singing number 902, O breathe on me, O breath of God, number 902. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, 
Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of his sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, this same spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are claimed. gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be powered out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, so that especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
joyfully let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. As we come forward to receive Jesus, we join in singing number 932, One Bread, One Body, number 932.
God, O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, say for God we pray the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit powered out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saint Michael, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, absent and without Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Bakers and volunteers are needed for the second annual Festa Fiesta to be held on June 11th from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. There are sign-up sheets in the back of the church. You may also purchase food tickets in advance today and each weekend after all Masses. You can buy $11 worth of tickets for only $10. There will be a 9 a.m. Mass Monday morning, May 26th, in observance of Memorial Day, and I don't believe that's May 26, but Monday morning, the Mass will be held at the mausoleum at St. Anthony's Cemetery. Renewed in faith, we go forth singing number 559, Come Holy Ghost. Number 559, we will be singing verses 1 and 4.